Hello and welcome to Wood and Graphite, the number two pencil based video channel on the internet. Today we explore the mysteries of the pencil vault. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my pencil vault. This is another really useful box, little clip waterproof box thing. Uh, the same as the one from my notepad video. I will put a link in the description if you want to buy one like this. It is excellent for pencils. It's just the right kind of pencil case size. But anyway, on to the meat of the matter. What you want to talk about is the pencil vault. Now, what is it? Well, it's a simple answer really. It's a vault for pencils. No, I'm only kidding. It's not just that. What this is, is essentially a place for me to keep singles. So I buy a lot of pencils and a lot of packs of pencils. So every pack that I buy, I take one of that pack before I write with any of them and I put it in here. So this has my very first pack of black wings. This is the first black wing I ever touched in this box. It won't be sharpened. Lots and lots of different pencils. We'll get into them afterwards. But the point is, is not for me to keep them forever because that's dumb. What I like is, we all love vintage pencils, right? We all love finding things that are old and weird and, oh, where'd this come from? I wonder if there's a story behind this. What I'm doing with this is trying to create a story. I'm, I'm taking one of every pencil I've ever bought and I'm putting it away. And I'm gonna need a new box soon because this is almost full. And I wanna keep this for 30 or 40 or 50 years. And I wanna give this to my kids or my grandkids. I wanna say, here, it's 279 and pencils aren't made no more. These are what I used to write with because that's how I'll talk when I'm old. And I want to be able to give my grandchildren and my kids something and say, look, this, this is what we use. This is what I had such a great passion for. And uh, I think that'll be really cool. I think that I would appreciate that now if someone did it for me. And so I'm trying to just kind of think ahead and these are going to be used. They're not being kept. I'm not collecting them per se. I'm, I'm merely a custodian of them until the immediate future whenever someone else can enjoy them. Because I want these to be used. I want them to be sharpened all the way up and then and then kept and, and seen as stubs, not necessarily kept pristine like this. Because what is the point of a, a nice Ticonderoga laddie if it's never sharpened? It's just a stick. So let's quickly run through what I have in here. Uh, like I said, there is the very first Blackwing that I ever touched, a Blackwing 602. Um, it doesn't fit, it is freaking huge. So it has to go in diagonally, which throws everything off, but I'm not gonna sharpen it because that kind of gets rid of the point. So there's a variety of pencils in here. Some of them are sharpened, some of them are not. We have the Blackwing 602, uh, unsharpened, huge. Uh, we have this, which is a nice Ticonderoga Laddie. Field Notes pencil, Dixon Ticonderoga, standard. A General's Semi-Hex. I have quite a few packs of different ones like this that I'm trying to keep one of because eventually they'll stop making them. And there are pencils in here that, that definitely will not exist whenever you know my grandkids are running around or my kids are running around and they want to use these pencils. There's ones there that will not be made anymore, that's obvious. Uh, this is a fun one. This one's already not made anymore. This is a Her Majesty Stationery Office blue office pencil. I think it's from about the 60s. I bought a pack of seven uh, from some random eBay seller. Uh, they are, I don't know if they're rare, but they're nice and they're blue and I have about six or seven of them. I use one every now and again, uh, but this one I took straight out of the pack. That sharpening is not mine, that is the way I bought it. Uh, and I'm gonna put it in there. So it's probably the guts of 50 years old already. Let's put it in this box and keep it for another 50 and see what happens. A kind of a NAF pencil. This is an Oxford Helix. It's cheap, it's cheerful, but I don't wanna just have a, you know, the best pencils in the world kept. You know, we want a spectrum. We wanna see like, this is why that is so good because this is not. Mitsubishi Unistar 2B, nice and dark. So yeah, it's nice to have a, uh, a nice collection of different countries and continents because who knows what the geography will look like in 50 years. So it'll be nice to remember what countries made what way back when. Even another cheap pencil this is a corporate C2. These are the ones I use for my uh, wooden graphite custom pencils. I just stick a little label on the back here. One of my favorite all time pencils, the Koenor 3423, double ended postman's pencil, red and blue. It is gorgeous. I freaking love this pencil. Um, it hurts to keep one in here because I want to use them all. Uh, Murado Black Warrior, Tombow 8900 in HB. Evolution, ugly non-wooden pencil by Bic Bluch. Perfetto, red and black number two. Natraj Bold, nice thick chunky pencil. That one's really, really nice, really, really dark. Uh, this one, another ancient pencil. This is a uh, vintage Vermilion and Blue Rocket 700. 
This thing's probably 30 or 40 years old already. Again, let's keep it in a box for another 50 and then let kids sharpen up. These don't sharpen terribly well already. They're already kind of busted. The red uh, is better than the blue, but the blue's pretty, pretty torn up. So we'll see how long it'll last. Hopefully in this box, it'll last a bit longer than out in the world. Norris, this is a Norwich in 2H because it's the least likely sort of gradient that I would ever use. Here we go, another uh, 8900. This one in 2B, just to have a bit of variety there. Uh, Johnny would be extremely pleased. There is a Wopex in here. Nice yellow Wopex being kept for posterity sick. Stadler Norris Eco. Uh, back to Japan, Mono 100 HB, uh, another Indian one. This is an Apsara Platinum. Uh, no, no grading on this one, it's just platinum. It's extra dark. It's really nice pencil for the price actually. Ecolution, again, just in not green, it's black. Still a terrible pencil. Uh, another Indian pencil, this is the Nitrage 621, very like the uh, tradition. Nice spectrum, you know, you got American, Czech, Japanese, Indian, all weird, wonderful countries. Cedar Point, first review I ever did. Lovely pencil, love it a bit. Uh, the special one, this, is actually an interesting one. This is the pencil that I first started this pencil -ness with. Uh, there is an Instagram post with this pencil in it. This is the only pencil I had in the house, and it's from a pack that my mother bought me. Uh, Analog is the new block, and I thought that was very appropriate. Um, and I used this pencil for a bit when I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use pencils again. And I wrote this for about two weeks, and then I got black wings. And I thought, you know, this is the pencil that started it all. This is the pencil that kind of sent me down this path. So why not keep it? Um, it doesn't write terribly well, it's a bit scratchy, but it's fine. Uh, it's all black by a company called Fred. And I thought it was quite interesting just to keep it and be able to say, look, there's a story about this. This is the first pencil that let me get all of these. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So that is my pencil vault. Let's put all these away without dropping them on the floor. Uh, you can stay over there. Whoa, oh, lost one. It's my pencil vault. And the reason I'm doing it is so that I can have these kept, not for myself, and not so that I can never use them and keep them pristine. I'm not a collector, I'm a user, but I'm just deferring the use of these ones until later, because I want to share them. I don't want this to just be me. I don't want this to just be my obsession. I want to share it and I enjoy the joy that comes from sharing enjoyment, passion with people so other people can use it. Being able to give these to people and my kids and say, play with these, destroy them, ride on them, do what you want with them because I've kept them for this long for that express purpose. So that is the pencil vault. It is not a collector's box. It is in fact a time capsule of graphite and memories and passion. Rah! That is it. Remember, use your pencils. Don't collect them.